Hello there, I'm Ross Pratt, founder and CEO of Railblazer. We would like to show you the advantages of fitting a Railblazer starport mounting system to your power boat. The versatile starport system allows you to retask the different areas of your boat. In this video we will take you through the different applications and accessories. The starport can be mounted on the surface with no intrusion or recess mounted by drilling a 30 to 32 mm hole and we supply all the necessary fittings. A drill template is incorporated in the packaging to give you all drill size information. The first task is to work out where you want to mount your starports. The rail mounts are available for 20 to 25 mm and 32 mm rails. On this boat we have used the rail mount 25. All fitting and mounting instructions are included. Now let's see how versatile the Railblazer starport system really is. The rod holder can be installed and locked into any starport. It can be rotated through 360 degrees at 45 degree increments by removing and repositioning. The rod angle can be adjusted by loosening the knob on the side of the rod holder, allowing over 90 degrees of adjustment. The rod holder has a drop-down gimbal at the back to prevent the rod butt getting fouled on the deck. This will help to avoid rod rotation if the butt is grooved like this. It also has a rotating collar at the front of the holder to allow easy retrieval of the rod after a strike. Or you can secure your rod against strike theft by lifting the gimbal and sliding the reel inside the collar before rotating. The rod holder also has this hole to fix to a tether. The bait board utilises two of our platform mounts and can be fitted into any two starports. The platform mount can be used by itself for other applications and can be tilted 180 degrees and rotated 360 degrees. The fillet table is very simple to mount and comes with all instructions, two platform mounts and mounting hardware. On this boat, we use the fillet table for three different applications. On the rear of the boat as a fillet table, on the rail in the cabin as a utility table, and in the third position, by folding the platform mounts up, we can place it into these vertical starports, allowing us to mount a cooker. Now that's multi-purpose. The mobile device holder can be installed in any horizontal or vertical starport, allowing you to hold all kinds of devices, including VHFs, handheld GPS, and cell phones to name a few. The retaining strap ensures good retention in the case of rollover, capsize, or vibration. It has adjustment for viewing angle and can be rotated through 360 degrees. The cup clam drink holder can be installed into any vertical or horizontal starport. It can be folded out and locked for use and will hold a number of different sizes of drink bottles and other containers. When not in use, it can be folded down in the starport or removed and stowed. The G-holds can be used for a number of applications, from holding paddles to storing fishing rods or gaffs. They come in three sizes, 35mm, 50mm and 75mm. The rubber moulding and urethane strap helps avoid vibration. The RB dive bottle holder is supplied with two starports, two Webi 30s, the shaped foam pad and strap. Using the template supplied, the starports are mounted, webeyes fitted and locked, foam pad inserted and then the strap is threaded. We recommend the starports are mounted at 60% of the height of the bottles. In this case we are limited by the shelf height and we have surface mounted the starports instead of recess mounting. When you have finished for the day, the foam pad can be used for transporting the bottles. The trackport dash allows multiple accessories in one area. The dash is supplied with four starports installed, which can be adjusted to different positions. The dash is supplied with two adapters and fastenings, allowing fitting into any starport pair. 
In this shot, we have set up the boat for trawling by removing the fillet table and placing the dashboard with four rod holders fitted into the existing starports. The flagpole will fit into any starport, allowing you to fly a dive flag or ensign. In this application, we are showing it fitted into a rail-mounted starport. When you are finished for the day, you can remove all your accessories and stow them to keep them in good condition, ready for your next excursion. Thank you for watching our video. Any of the parts shown and a list of dealers are available on our website at www.railblazer.com.